Sir, the colors of my outfit today emphasize the importance of SAF's realistic training and its safety record. I have to confess I'm quite confused by the colors. We may need to examine if we need to put a timestamp on the degree conferred by the uni. What do we know? What do we mean by timestamp? One radical idea is to put it as a requirement that the graduates have to attend upgrading courses every five years or so. If you do not upgrade, your degree will fade over time and you no, and you no longer can claim the degree as yours, your credential, after a while. Does this sound scary? Mr. Speaker, sir, if you are serious about continuous training and lifelong learning, we have to be radical about transformation. It may not and should not happen overnight, but we have to start to transform our Institute of Higher Learning. As part of a suite of preventive healthcare measures, I hope the government is looking to regulate and reduce the number of bubble tea outlets, pubs and bars. Whether a collaboration with Mediacorp will be explored to introduce a cartoon series using rhythmic content akin to Baby Shark or Coco Melon YouTube channel songs involving mascots like Captain Green, Water Wally to attract and educate young audiences to become our young budding green champions. We should build a reserve public captain pool one that can be activated upon short notice to fill urgent manpower gaps. I propose to train taxi drivers to act as reserve bus captains. This reserve force could drive buses once a month to keep their driving skills and route familiarity current so that they can be activated upon an emergency. When I heard that the program was a success, it truly touched my heart. Be bold in investing in our future. Be bold in investing in our people. Be bold. And there'll be a place for all of us. Uh, Geraldine, on your birthday, Papa would like to wish, wish that you have a Singapore that is tech and rich, inclusive. Leaves me with the third group, wealthy. And that means 